ladies, this is Carla. Thanks for joining me. Today, what I've done is made this little book pillow. I thought it turned out really cute. I uh, made it out of the fabric that I showed the other day on one of my hauls. Here's a little handle. I know it's kind of hard to see it all in the frame. This is a little pocket on the front, and I got all this coordinating fabric at a store called the FM Fabric Store here. Then they had these little uh, panels you could cut apart. So I cut apart one of these little panels and made an additional little pocket right here. Now, if you have an embroidery machine or if you know someone who can embroidery for you, I know that is really a popular thing to put on this front, but I don't have that, so I thought I would improvise a little bit and make this little pocket. Now, the back of it is another coordinating fabric, and it has this kind of envelope pillow that you can stuff in there. So the pillow that I put in there is this pillow that I got from Joann's. And I was there last week when they were having their President's Day sale. And they had a whole package of these of six in a package for $29.99 on sale. So I just picked up a package of six of those. These are 16 inch pillows. And that is just perfect for what I am going to show you how to make. So let's get started. To begin, move this out of the way. You're going to need a piece of fabric that will be for the back of the front. And you're going to need it to be 16 and a half inches square. 16 and a half inches square fabric. Then you're gonna need 16 and a half inches of batting some type of batting. This is a fiber fill batting. And then you're gonna need for a lining 16 and a half inches as well. Now, for the lining, it does it won't show, so it could be anything. If you had an old pillowcase or an old sheet, I didn't have any around, so I just bought this at Joann's. And it was um, an inexpensive cotton, and I it was like 30% off of that. So I just got some of that to do with that. Now, the other thing I'm going to be using for this, this is going to be your pillow base. And being 16 and a half inches, it will fit the 16-inch pillow form perfectly. What uh, was suggested on the way I chose to make this was that instead of pinning all this, I'm going to use this spray adhesive and that way I can make sure it's not going to pull out of place and it's going to be just fine. I did put tissue paper under here because when I made some the other day, I didn't and I had to do a lot of scrubbing to get that off of my mat. So I'm going to shake this up and give it a little spray. Just like so, I'm gonna take this batting and I'm just gonna smooth that down, do it again on this side, smooth that down. <clears throat> then I'm just gonna turn this over. You see that sticks a little bit, just like so. And flip it up again. And I'm going to spray this down. And I'm going to pull the top back and spray that down. Yep. And there we have that all in place. Now, next thing we're going to do, I'm going to flip it back to the front. We have it like this. And the next thing you're going to need is fabric for the front pocket. Now, the front pocket, you're going to need two pieces. Now, you're going to need a lining piece. Your lining piece will be 16 and a half wide by 10 and a half inches deep okay that's 16 and a half inches wide just the same width as your pillow form or your pillow uh, base and then it's going to be 10 and a half inches deep now the top of your lining 
and I'm using a pattern for this. This is going to be <clears throat> 16, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> 16 and a half inches wide, but it's only going to be nine and a half inches deep. The reason being, when we sew this together and we flip it, it will give us about a half inch little trim at the top. So before we do that though, I also wanna put one of those little panels on this front. So for this panel, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see, I know the other one I had to trim it up quite a bit. So this one, I want to do the same. I'm going to trim it so I will have uh, the white part just barely showing on the sides. And the way to do that, before I trim the bottoms and the top, I'm going to take this side here and I'm going to fold it in and I'm going to press that. And then I'm going to fold this in and press that on both sides kind of hard to do without my iron right here, but we'll get that taken care of. And I want that to be, when I go press that, I want it to have this little bit of white showing out right here on these sides. So when I add that to my front, this little white part will be showing. So I'm gonna go press that in and I'll be back. So I took that over to my iron and I ironed the sides in and I ironed the top. I cut that down because I don't want any of this trim to show at the top. I'm going to leave this. Oh, it's probably about, I'm leaving about mm, inch and about an inch and a quarter at the top. And I'm gonna pull that down a little bit, give myself just a little more room, because when I take a seam in that, it's gonna be even less. And I know I'll have to trim this off at the bottom down here, but that's okay. I, I still want it to be like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pin this on just to the yellow pattern front. I'm gonna put my pins in there. And we're only going to sew around the sides, not the bottom or the top, of course. <laughs> so let's get a few little pins in here. Uh, move that over a little bit. And it's probably about almost four inches on each side. That kind of centered that out for me. So after I get this pinned on, I'm going to use a... Um, embroidery stitch on my machine to go down these tops or these sides and actually what I need to do before I do this is I'm going to have to unpin this because I want to also do an embroidery stitch across the top of that so I'm going to take that to my machine I'm going to embroidery stitch across here uh, without it being attached of course and then I want to attach it to the sides Okay, now I have my pocket on, and what I'm going to do now is we're going to take this pocket piece, and we're going to take this pocket piece. This was the 10 and a half by 16 and a half. I'm going to lay that down. And then we're going to take our 9 and a half by 16 and a half, and we're going to put these tops together. We want those to be right together, so I'm going to give those a bit of a pin here. Let's see, that in there like so. And let's come across here. And let's get this other end together. Hold that, pin that in place, and one more, the end over here, and 
Now I'm going to take just like a quarter inch seam. I'm going to sew this together. And we'll deal with this hanging off in just a little bit. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go over and just take a quarter inch seam and uh, sew these together. So that's sewn together. And what we're going to do now is we're going to flip this just up like that. We want this seam here to flip upwards. Uh, that way, when we fold this over, I'll show you how we're going to get our little... Um, little binding across the top. I'm going to get some of those threads off there. So I'm going to flip this over and I'll be pressing that with the iron, but I want to just flip it over for now. And what you're going to do now is you're going to pull these together. You're going to have this red even with that top one. And this is hanging off and we're going to cut that off. But you can see when you pull that down even when you press this up you're going to have that little ridge at the top that's going to give you you want your seam going up to give you that um, allowance there that little binding and like i said when i press that that will make that much better but you'll see you'll have that little bit of trim at the top so i'm going to take this over and i'm going to iron this out and I'm going to go ahead and make this even and trim off the bottom. So that's pressed in now and I top stitched across the top of that and what we're going to do next is attach this to this front by pinning it. I went ahead and I trimmed it off the bottom to get it nice and even and we're just going to, let's see what I do with my pins. I love these little pins. I just got those. I really like those. So now we're going to take this and just kind of pin this on. Like so. And we're going to just stitch the pocket on. I'm going to use probably just like a fourth inch seam to go around that. And let's put one more up here. Oh, kind of sticking. One more right in here. And I'm going to now go take quarter inch of a seam just on this pocket part across the sides and down across the bottom. So now we have the pocket sewn on and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the handle for the top. Now the handle you're going to need uh, I believe it's ten and a half Yes, ten and a half by six and a half. You're gonna need a ten and a half by six and a half inch piece of fabric. You're gonna turn it this way. And I'll be doing this uh, at my ironing board, but I'm gonna show you before I go over and press it. You're simply gonna press it in half, like so. Then you're gonna open it up. And when you open it up, you're gonna take this and fold it into the center and give that a press and I'll be taking this over to my iron and then you're going to do the same thing with this one fold it in and give it a press of course you want to do this with your iron get it nice and even then you're simply going to fold it over again and you're going to top stitch on both sides. So I'm going to go do that on my ironing board and top stitch it. Then I'll be back. After we have our handle top stitch, we're just going to turn it probably like this. And we're going to pin it at the top because you want the handle to be hanging down inside. So when you flip this up, that will be 
inside. So we're going to pin this on here. I lost my pins again. All right, let's just pin this on here. here you want to guesstimate and I probably need to look at that a little better oh about five inches from each side so what I do with my ruler so let's just come in about five inches here just put this one up here Give that a pin. And let's come in five inches over here. And give that another pin. And we want this to be going either like that. Well, or like this. I think I want it like this. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I've got my pen in there too long. Let's go this way. And I can flip this better. Here we go. And I think it was about here. Double check that. Okay, this way. I've got too many things on my side. Alright, that there. I'm going to redo that other side. We check it. Okay. Well, let's double check this. I may have come in too much. No, that's good enough. Good enough. Let me come over just a tad. Just a little bit. Now. We're going to lay this aside, and for the back, you're going to have two pieces of fabric that are 16 and a half inches wide, same width, and they're going to be 12 inches deep. Okay, so again, you've got 16 and a half wide and 12 inches deep. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to go press these quarter inch fold, maybe even up to a half inch fold, so I can get a good stitch on here. And I'm going to uh, top stitch these, and I'm going to get them pressed. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind, okay, when you lay this on, um, you can lay it either this way or sideways. I did the other one sideways. I think I'm going to do this one just like so. But you, you have to keep in mind, now when you flip this, it's going to be upside down, right? So you want this to be, right, this is the upside. You're going to put this one on the side, so you're going to want to press this one. I'm going to put myself a little pin there. And then when you add the bottom piece, you're going to do the same thing. You want it uh, directional. So you're going to have it going up the same way, but you're going to be top stitching this piece up here. So you're going to, I just go ahead, I'm going to get myself a little pin there so I know I'm going to be pressing this one in, top stitching it. And then this one, I'm going to be coming down and doing that. So when it comes together, uh, you know, you'll have your top stitching in the center and your fabric will all be going the same way. So let's do that. So you have your pillow front face up. You've got this little pocket that you've sewn on. You've got the larger pocket. You've got your handle in place. Now we're going to sew on the back. Now, uh, we talked about, um, okay, I folded these in and I've top stitched these. Now I want the fabric to be coming this way. You're gonna put right sides together 
And this is going to be the right side of the fabric going directionally the right way. So I'm going to lay this one up here. And I'm going to put this one on top. This is the bottom one. And again, it's overlapping about, mm, probably about a good four inches there. And so you've got these even at the bottom. Pull that up just a little bit. And you've got this where this direction is coming this way and this one is coming this way and you can see where you've top stitched there that's going to be your envelope to put your pillow in now you can also turn it this way if you want and put the pillow in sideways I don't think it matters for me it doesn't I don't know maybe it really does I don't know but anyway this is the way I'm going to do it so I'm going to do it like this I'm going to line these up and what I want to do make sure I've got that I can pull this down just a little bit make sure I've got that even at the top so when I take my seam that looks good okay so I'm going to go ahead and fold this back up and what I want to do is where these um, the top stitch folds are for the, for the pillow. I'm going to put a pin there because I want to make sure I back stitch over that. And I don't want that flipping on me. And so I'm going to come down here where this one is. I could pull that one over a little bit, looks like. Okay. Like that. I want to make sure that I get a pin in there so I don't Flip that over, and I can remember to back stitch on that one. Okay, I'm going to do the same on this side. Make sure these are down. And I want to turn it this way. It's easier for me. I'll go ahead and pin this one on. Get that up there. And again, I'm going to come over here, make sure I've got this pulled taut right here, and give that a pin. Now, I've got these uh, pinned up here. I'm going to take those out for my handle, and I'm going to come in here, and let's see, I think I'll pin it this way. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here so I won't have that pin inside there when I'm trying to turn it. <laughs> Don't want to stick myself. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing here. Now, all we're going to do now is I'm going to take it to my machine again. I'm going to give a nice, heavy, oh, I don't know heavy is the word. I'm going to give it like a half inch stitch all the way around. I think I'll go ahead and... Do a little pinning up here. I really want that to hold well. And up here. Make sure that's flat so you don't have any puckering. Okay, I'm going to go sew that up and we'll come back and give it a flip. We have it all stitched around the edges. I've gone and I've trimmed off any excess I thought might be, you know, hanging out of the batting or something that wasn't even. All we have to do now is add our pillow. Before I add the pillow, I am going to cut off this little tag right up here. And this has a zipper in it, so I'm gonna put the zipper going in now. Easy way to do this is if you take, just take the bottom and flip it out like so. I'm just going to turn it, just one half of it, wrong side out. This is the bottom. I'm going to poke those corners good. 
And over here, we're going to poke this corner good. And let's see. It's using my finger. I think I can get it poked out with my finger good enough there. I'll try a little bit more. I got it. Let me try a pencil. It's probably good enough, but I think it comes out a little bit more in there. Ugh. There we go. All right. So now I've got it turned. Here's the bottom. Pull that up a little bit. Got it turned like this. Now, easy way to do this. Got that all the way we want that pushed out. We're gonna take the zipper in. I'm gonna have it go in the bottom. I'm gonna push it in. Shove it in there. Shove it down in the corners. These pillow forms, I, I just love them. Like I said, I think I like them better than even the ones that I had purchased at Walmart. Just push it down in there. And as you can see, you've got this turned like so. Now you're just going to take, flip it over, take this part, kind of push that pillow. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Down in here like so. And just take that and fold it over. And let's get our corners out there good again. And get that pillow up in there. And there you've got the back of your pillow. See how nice and neat that looks? And if you flip it over, there's your handle right at the top. And there is your cute, cute, cute darling little pocket. Here's your little pocket here and your pocket here. And like I said, I have purchased for my Christmas craft fair, I got these the Sweet Smell of Christmas books. And I'm going to be adding one right down here. And I think that'll make a darling Christmas gift. And I may come up with some kind of a bookmark or something to put in here. Now I want to show you... Um, let me get that up a little bit. Set this up. I want to show you a couple more that I made from Dr. Seuss fabric. And I, I wish I had looked for a panel or cut something out of the fabric to put on the front. Because these look pretty plain compared to those. But I am going to get a Dr. Seuss book to put in there. And I may come up with something to put on the front so it doesn't look so plain. This is the front, and then this is the back. Now, the other one, let's see. The other Dr. Zeus one, well, what did I do? Oh, here it is. I used a different fabric for the bottom pocket, and that did offset it a little bit. I used a stripe, and I put some um, ribbon across this little trim, and it, it has uh, this kind of fabric on the on the back but I wish I don't know if, even if I had taken a stripe of something to put across there and I don't know if I could come up with something to iron on or not but anyway so I've got this one I've got this one I've got this one and I've got this one so far so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have, please give me a thumbs up and uh, I hope you've had a wonderful day. I'm working into the evening tonight, but I just I wanted to get this finished. I'm real excited. I love the bright colors. I think those are just darling. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. And if you're a new watcher, thank you for joining in and come back and see me another time. Until next time, bye-bye.